Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, depending on where you are in this beautiful world of ours. This is Hedgin Lee with the morning update for Bitcoin. Okay, so I'm going to start with Ethereum, actually. The reason is because, as I've been saying, Ethereum has the baton. It is pretty much and has been for a little while leading the price pathway and Bitcoin has been following it. Ethereum is a worthy companion, not an opponent, companion of Bitcoin. And as I said, just for a quick review, Ethereum busted out at the D wave, so it was a D wave breakout. And that was projected as well as the possibility of the E wave down to complete the ABCDE. But we all know now for cryptos, a third of the time, the breakout occurs at the D wave. And it was a beautiful vertical surge followed by vertical surge and so on. Now I need to update this a little bit. I think three is here. Let me zoom in so you can see better. There you go. I think three recently just about completed. That means five has to move up and four is currently in the progress. Why do I think that three just completed? Well, this is where for Elioticians, subwave counting becomes that much important. What do I mean by that? Let me just get rid of some of these circles. I'll even get rid of the ABCDE for now. So we have, and get rid of the lines for this. So we have one, two, three, four, and five. That's what I'm projecting for now. Okay, if that's the case, then if we count the subwaves of three, and let's do that right now, live. It'll look like this. So we have one here, two, three, four, and five. So if there were five waves now complete for the three, so five blue subwaves completing for three, then it is more likely. One, two, and three just finished. And if you look at wave two, the white wave two, and now what I'm now talking about is the Elliott waves rule of alternation. And that says that if wave two is very simple, which in this case is very ABC ish, straight down, then the rule of alternation states that wave four will be a little more complex. But don't fall into that as being written in stone. It isn't. The reason is because cryptos have a different personality. And that rule of alternation does not apply as much, I'd say 55% of the time. So almost one to one, it, it could be a, a, a coin toss. So regardless from what we see already so far here, We have an ABC. And this ABC would most likely be the subwaves of a greater ABC. In other words, now let me zoom in on this. So we have A, B, C, and this is not probably the completion of wave four. And likely what probably will happen is you're looking at the subways of A. A, there'll be a retrace B, and down to maybe wave Y, wave four, like this. And wave four will be down here.
that's the case. Wave four will be complete at that zone. And wave five will be approximately 1.618 of wave one. And that should take it to about well into the 800s. Just make it for now 832. All right, now that's Ethereum. And this is what Ethereum will do. Let me take an image of this for the summary. Hold on a second. So if this is what likely Ethereum will do, then let's see how the Bitcoin might act. So here is Bitcoin. A little messy. Let me give rid of some lines here too. These letters for now. And let's zoom in also. Much better. Get rid of the volume. We don't need that right now. <clears throat> so we have one, two, three is working on four and five. However, let's redo this a little bit from an assessment perspective. So we have one, two, and now let's count the subwaves. And those subwaves for three, or this wave three. I'll put those in blue. And that'll look like one, two, three, four, and five. In other words, I don't think <clears throat> white wave three is complete. It's a little behind um, Ethereum. Remember, it's following Ethereum and not leading. So I think wave four will be here. Five will rise. then the four, and then the five for this way. So what do I think will happen over the weekend? Weekend price activity will likely equate to ten thousand breach. And that 10,000 will probably mark the wave five, which will result in an ABC correction because Elliott Wave states that after five waves up, there will be a requisite or required reactionary retracement of ABC. Or it could be ABCDE, it could be complex, combination, any one of 34 possibilities at every turn. So I hope that kind of puts into perspective the relationship between how Ethereum is leading and still has the baton while Bitcoin is following Ethereum's lead. How do we know that? We're looking at the price action, the pattern, Elliott waves, and indicators as well. So look, in this case, let me give it this line. In this case, on a 30 minute chart, most likely this is going to lift up and therefore we're going to finish wave five, blue five of three. Okay, I hope this has been helpful and um, a lot more to come. Have a wonderful day.